Hey guys, it's Cassie and today I'm going to be telling you why you shouldn't buy the Dior book tote. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie. I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. So if you like luxury fashion, then you're probably gonna love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Guys, are you ready? Let's go. Okay, so before I go into the reasons, I do just want to say, I think this is a great bag, but I think that there are certain downsides that I either don't think get spoken about enough, or I think are worth considering before you part with your hard-earned money for this, okay? So that's what I'm gonna be talking about today. Now, for you season subscribers, you know I do own this bag, but not this version of it. I actually have a leather version, but for the purposes of today's video, I have borrowed my mum's because I know that this is the most popular print and size and all of that. First reason why you shouldn't buy this bag is the size. Now, this is, as I said, the original standard size which is a lot bigger than probably what you need it to be. I think that if you're going to be really serious about getting this bag, I think the smaller size is great. It's still big enough for a laptop, for books. This size is actually massive, as in this could be an overnight bag, right? You could have a change of clothes, your toiletries, a laptop, your Nintendo Switch, and whatever accoutrement that you wanna take with you on an overnight, so you could have a, two pairs of shoes in there. It's massive. Which, if you're looking for a big bag, then that's great. But I just think that you subconsciously want to fill it and it gets heavy, okay? This gets very, very heavy. It only has one set of handles. You can't really like get this under your shirt. This is uncomfortable, right? That's not great. You're up here like doing all of this business. It is primarily meant to be held in the crook of the elbow and in your hand and it does get very heavy very quickly. So I really do think if you want to go for this bag, do really consider the smaller size, not the mini. We don't really talk about the mini on this channel because I have beef with it. Look at the smaller size because I really do think it might tick all the boxes that you need this to do. Maybe you want to get ripped arms. Maybe that's part of your uh, plan with this bag, in which case it's absolutely perfect for you. But if that's not your plan, you just, you just have, take a look at the smaller size. The second reason why you shouldn't buy this bag, especially in the fabric, is the wear and tear of the handles. With the constant use of this, especially if this is a bag that you're going to be using every day, let's say on a commute or something like that, it is going to really, really start wearing. So it actually got to the point that my mum has gotten twillies for this bag because it's just looking a little bit shoddy. This is not a cheap bag. It's an expensive bag. This is why I'm doing this video to make sure that you're aware of what to expect and maybe things that you haven't considered before. If you're happy for that to happen or you're happy to buy twillies to protect that, then that's great. But if not, it's something to consider. Item number three why you shouldn't buy this bag. Security! So this bag, has zero closure, okay? Even when you carry it, it doesn't, you know, it bends in slightly, but it doesn't close. Here we go, hands in, you know, theft. For example, let's say that this is a bag that you want to use for work and you commute on public transport and you're taking your laptop, wallet and stuff like that, your house keys in this bag, then the security is something to consider way more than if you're going to be using this for work and you're commuting, but you drive to work and she's just gonna be sitting pretty on the passenger seat and will be straight under your desk, you know, for the rest of your day kind of thing, in which case, this is probably less of a concern for you, but just keep that in mind. The reason number four why you shouldn't buy this bag is a lack of organization. This bag is essentially a hole. There is no zip pocket in there for, you know, like valuables or your wallet or keys or anything. There is nothing, which is why the majority of the time people tend to buy inserts for them. So if that's something that you haven't thought about, think about that. Again, depending on what you're going to use it for. If you're going to have only a few items and they're bigger items, then maybe you don't really need to care about organization. But something else to note is that this bag has zero lining. So let's say you're carrying a drink in here, that drink is not water, that drink spills, that liquid, whatever that may be, could bleed into the front and uh, we do not want that situation. You spend over two grand on a bag and um, we don't really need to be having stains left, right and center on the front of it for everyone to see. If you wanna buy this bag, don't buy it for the organizational aspect because there isn't any. And if you do buy this bag, you will most likely need to buy an insert for it. Okay, the last reason why you shouldn't buy this bag is um, the price. 
So for this regular standard size, this in pounds is 2,150 pounds. They start from that because they do have different prices depending on different designs and whatever. The smaller version is 2,050. If this is a bag that regardless of my reasons that I've said previously, you still want to go ahead with, do that, do you. Like I've said, it's a great bag. I have one in the leather version though, don't get the leather version, that's a whole other thing. But just have a look at other options available that are much more reasonably priced that maybe you didn't know existed or you hadn't considered, okay? Because I just wanna make sure that if you're gonna spend this money that you're gonna be happy with it. Other options, the YSL Reeve Gauche Tote, if you want a massive tote, look at that. It's also coated canvas, so don't worry about that getting dirty even though it's in the beige and all of that business, okay? You've got the Louis Vuitton on the go. Also comes in two sizes, but you also have a longer strap for an on the shoulder moment. That's a great little plus. Then you've got Gucci do a number of different uh, kind of like tote bags, but personally like the one from the Off The Grid collection, which is again, similar kind of, I think it's an ever so slightly smaller size than this. It's in that nylon, it's very kind of hard wearing and all of that business again, comes with a longer strap. Just have a look at them. I just don't want you to spend money on this and then end up being like, oh great, I could have bought that that's cheaper and you know, solves the problems that I have with this, whatever, okay? So I hope that this video helped you make your decision either way. Let me know if you have the book tote, any downsides that you've experienced. I'm going to leave a link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.